The holidays are a busy time of year, and shopping and hauling back a Christmas tree can seem like a burden for some. But Erin at Luxinger's Christmas Trees isn't afraid to get her hands dirty for her customers. We kind of cater to people who want more customer service, so I joke that we're the easy tree shopping. Luxinger's chops the trees from trucks to New York and then puts them on display in its barn for quick shopping. Erin says real trees are still in high demand, which is not only good for business, but the environment also. Artificial ones harm it once people dispose of them. So my family every year gets a real tree because we like the smell of it. Um, and I don't know, I just feel like fake tree, fake Christmas, it's not real. Erin says this weekend and the next will be the busiest. And although it was pretty dry in the early fall, the recent rain has helped the supply and the trees are looking good. Luxinger's hasn't changed its prices in years. The cost is determined by the size of the tree. This seven foot Douglas fir costs $60. But the Fraser fir over here is Erin's favorite because of its sturdy branches and blue tint underneath. Those willing to work a little harder to pay a little less can go to a farm like Critz. Here, customers can take a saw, ride a tractor through the acres of trees, and chop down their favorite. A seven-foot Fraser fir that costs $60 at Luxinger's would be nearly $20 cheaper at Critz. But no matter where you go, um, number one, choose the correct variety. Choose a fir tree, don't choose a spruce. Um, number two, make sure it has a fresh cut on it when it goes home and then immediately get it into water and then make sure you water it every day. Erin's advice about caring for the tree will still apply. This is Colleen Callender reporting for NCC News.